Pearl Harbor attack, notes number five. As we have discussed in notes one through four, World War II began in 1939 to 1945. Um, but for the United States, World War II did not actually begin until 1941, December 7th, 1941 to be exact. That is the day of the Pearl Harbor attack. Now, many people question why did Japan attack? There were several reasons what that caused Japan to decide to attack us at Pearl Harbor. So we're going to begin a little bit with a little background on what the United States was doing um, right before the attack at Pearl Harbor. Ever since the end of World War I, the United States had claimed neutrality, came, uh, became an isolated country. But as World War II began and Hitler began his reign of power in Europe, the United States government and the United States people had two different views on World War II. The United States people want nothing to do with it. They still remember all the horrors from World War I, and they did not want to get involved in another European war, as they saw it. But the U.S. government had a very different viewpoint. The U.S. government realized that if Hitler... Uh, took over all of Europe and became all powerful, that would not be good for the United States in any way, politically, economically, militarily, any way. It is not good for us. So they wanted to enter World War II, but again, the people were completely against it. Pearl Harbor is what's going to change all of that. Now, the situation between the United States and Japan actually began uh, to heat up during the mid 1930s. And that is because as Japan looked over at Hitler in Europe and saw his expansion over Europe, they also wanted to have their own empire, but in Asia. They wanted to build the world Asian uh, new order in Asia. Um, but one of the problems Japan has is it does not have a lot of natural resources. But right next to Japan is China. Huge China, full of everything. Tons of natural resources. Japan looked at China like a hungry wolf will look at a chicken, and they wanted to gobble it up. And it tried. It actually invaded China. But while it was in northern China, heading way down, the United States got involved. Now, the United States basically told Japan they needed to leave, or otherwise they would stop trading with them. Specifically, oil and steel. Japan, as much as they didn't want to, had to get out. They needed to trade with the United States at that point, especially, like I said, oil. So begrudgingly, they got out of China, but they would not forget. So the bad blood between the U.S. begins with this interaction. Now, another thing that caused Japan to attack the United States is they were under the belief that the United States would eventually get into World War II. And they felt if the United States is going to get into World War II, why not bring them in on their terms and not the United States terms? So thus the attack of Pearl Harbor. Now, the United States had been doing a lot of things to make anybody paying attention make it pretty clear that the United States would eventually be in the war. They had started uh, raising money for the Defense Department, which is in charge of the military and the Army. Um, they had started drafting soldiers. They, uh, you know, they started uh, the cash and carry program that would sell weapons to the allies as long as they picked them up and brought cash then they modified that with the land lease act which we took the weapons and let them pay for a future uh there was atlantic charter where uh fdr met winston churchill to basically decide what the plan would be if the u.s went to war so for japan it was very clear that the united states would be going into the war so they thought what best to bring them in limping instead of at full strength so the attack on pearl harbor the attack on Pearl Harbor happened early Sunday morning, December 7th, 1941. Um, it was a perfect time to attack. It was when the United States was least prepared. It was after Saturday night. Young sailors go out to have fun Saturday night, sleep in Sunday. Um, some people go to church early Sunday morning. So the United States was very, very unprepared. Now, why did the Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor? They attacked because it was the home base of the Pacific Fleet. The Pacific Fleet was what basically was in the way of Japan creating their new world empire in Asia. So if that fleet was to be destroyed in this attack, then nobody would get in their way. Um, they also felt that if the United States was coming into World War II, the loss of this fleet would cripple them in the terms of defending the Pacific Ocean, not just in China, but all around. And also, this was a, uh, the, it was a, the first step of a five-step process that would involve them eventually attacking mainland United States in California, Oregon, and Washington. Step one was the um, attack of Pearl Harbor. Step two was the invasion of China and other countries in Asia, Southeast Asia. 
Step three was island hopping, conquering all islands leading up to Hawaii. Step four would be actually conquering Hawaii, invading Hawaii, and bringing in their military into Hawaii. And then step five would be the attack. So those were the three reasons why they attacked Pearl Harbor itself. Now, like I said, early morning, Sunday morning surprise, devastated the U.S. Pacific Fleet. They were not ready. The, the Japanese had planned two attacks. And on these attacks, attack one was supposed to accomplish a certain amount of mission, a certain amount of things about the mission, and then they were supposed to finish it off with attack number two. Well, the first attack was so successful, they got more accomplished than they expected, that ultimately they ended up canceling their second attack. They figured that the second attack would be way too risky, the Americans would be ready for them now, and because they had accomplished so much more than they thought in the first attack, it really wasn't necessary. Well, because of that decision, the Japanese are going to miss a, some valuable targets at Pearl Harbor. Um, one of those targets is a repair docks. So, you know, this is where you would fix your da damaged ships. Because uh, the attack was so successful, they sunk many ships, they heavily damaged ships, and they slightly damaged ships. But because the repair docks were left alone, they were able to take those ships, and they were able to fix them. And thus, those ships that were out of commission because of the repair docks, now were back into commission and back into the Pacific Fleet. Second thing that they missed that was very important was the fuel station. Ships need fuel. And they, this is one of the things that they missed. So that allowed the U.S. to have the fuel ready for the ships that were being fixed to get out to the Pacific and start defending the country. Third um, was they did not destroy the aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are key to fighting an ocean war. It allows you to take your air force anywhere in the water. So you could have a fight with your air force in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and the aircraft carriers will be there for the planes to land, reload with weapons or refuel and get back out to war. And the uh, Japanese missed both the aircraft carriers stationed there. One was on the other side of the island away from Pearl Harbor. So they didn't get that one. And the other one was actually on a Pacific um, Ocean mission somewhere around the island of Midway. And they missed that too. So the combination of these three things that they missed because of the cancellation of the second attack resulted in the United States being hit hard, knocked down, but not knocked out. And it's going to take the United States about six months to rebuild their Pacific fleet and get it back to power it was before. And during those six months, the United States, I mean, the Japanese are going to do whatever they basically want in the Pacific Ocean. They will go back to China they will conquer it. They will conquer Vietnam, Laos. They will conquer the Philippines. They will conquer basically Southeast Asia and build their empire as they wanted. They will island hunt throughout the Pacific Ocean, conquering island after island, heading all the way to Hawaii. And the last island they were at was the, the island of Midway, which will result in a huge battle between the United States and the Japanese at the Battle of Midway. They will be turning point in the war. But we'll get to that later. So the Japanese attack will directly lead to the United States entering World War II once again, December 7th, 1941. The very next day, President uh, Roosevelt, FDR, gives his famous infamy speech in which he asked Congress to declare war on Japan and later on Germany as well. So the, this is how the United States got into World War II with the attack of Pearl Harbor.